Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is official. Amazon has now announced the brand new Fire Stick and they actually announced two different versions, the regular Fire Stick and the Fire Stick Lite. We're gonna talk about both of them in today's video right now. All right, let's get right into it. Why did Amazon come out with a completely new Fire Stick this year, as opposed to the previous versions that came out a couple years ago? There's a few things they did with it to bump it up, and I'm gonna talk about that today. All right, so the Fire Stick that they just came out with, just so you are aware, is not a replacement for the 4K Fire Stick. In fact, the new 2020 version of the Fire TV Stick does not have 4K. They really wanted to push the market for those that did not have a 4K TV. So if you're still looking for a Fire Stick, haven't purchased a Fire Stick, the 4K Fire Stick, if you have a 4K TV, is the way to go. Many people were buying 4K Fire Sticks and paying the extra money, even though they didn't have a 4K TV because the processor was faster. So that's where Amazon stepped in and released a new Fire Stick with the same processing speed as the 4K Fire Stick. So it'll run with those new apps, those new fancy apps out there, the great apps that I've shared on my channel and other people have as well. You're gonna want a Fire Stick that can handle the processing of that. And they improved it by 50%. That's a significant jump from the original second gen Fire Stick. And they also are coming out with a Fire Stick Lite. And this is gonna be the most affordable option. I think retail is under $30 for the Fire TV Stick Lite. What's the difference between the light and the Fire TV stick that they're coming out with? Well, I'll tell you, it's basically only a couple little things, and that's the TV controls more than anything. Besides that, a little bit of the audio, Dolby Audio versus Dolby Atmos Audio, so it's gonna be a little better on the Fire TV stick, the new generation of that. But the Fire TV stick light is still a very, very good option for you if you don't want to control your TV with your remote. I'll give you an example. I use the Echo to control my TV, so I tell my TV what to do. Turn off, turn on, volume up, volume down. I do all of these things with my Echo Dot. So if you have an Echo Dot, you may not need the TV controls that come with the new Fire TV Stick, and you might wanna look at maybe a Fire TV Stick Lite and save yourself $10. But guys, I went ahead and just ordered one pre-order September 30th. If you're watching this video, before September 30th, they are not available yet, but you can pre-order. I'll put a link down in the description where you can do that. If it's after September 30th, of course, you can go ahead and order it directly from amazon.com right now. In addition to the 50% more powerful streaming and the TV controls that are on this as compared to the original second gen, it also has enhanced audio clarity of Dolby Atmos. It really makes the scenes feel like they come to life I think uh, the, the Dolby Atmos audio on select titles, including like Prime Video, Netflix, and Disney Plus, and things like that, uh, when connected to compatible sound bars and home audio systems, it just really, really just brings it to life. And I'm actually going to be doing another video soon on a really good sound system for Fire Stick and Android boxes as well. It just really enhances the experience, the whole cinematic experience, the live TV experience that a Fire Stick offers, especially with something like Dolby Atmos. I'm gonna be doing a video very soon, probably this week, where I'm gonna be launching a really nice soundbar system that's really affordable, that I really love, and I just wanted to share with you. So I'll be doing that very, very soon. And of course, the new one does have the Alexa voice remote with TV controls, which is great. And that's something that initially the Cube came out with, and then originally, then the 4K Fire Stick had those, and then they updated the remote on the second generation. Of course, this new one's going to have that as well, but it's just a little bit more enhanced. They've added to it with the latest update, so it's really nice. It's just easier and quicker to find content so that you can stream. And what I love about these Fire Sticks is the fact that you can just enjoy, of course, Netflix in HD, which you can't do on a lot of uh, devices, and then YouTube Prime, Disney+, Plus, Apple TV, Star, Showtime, CB All Access, and others are all built into this thing. So yeah, you may have, some of these may have to have subscriptions, but I have other videos where you don't have to have subscriptions, which is really, really nice. So watch my other videos if you wanna learn how to get some free stuff for your Fire Stick. But of course, you can always use subscriptions like Sling and YouTube TV and some of the others that I mentioned. 500,000 plus movies and TV shows are accessible to you, some with ads that are free, some without ads, that are free, summer subscriptions, all these things I cover in my videos, but it's nice to have so much content available at such an affordable price. And I love watching live TV and free TV and all these things, and that's where YouTube TV, Sling, Hulu Live, the Pluto TV, HD, IMDB TV, things like that that are free as well, which is really, really nice. I love the plug and play capabilities of the 
of the Fire TV stick. It's just so easy. You just plug it into a regular HDMI port on your TV, and then you can tuck it behind your TV and hide it. You don't even know it's there. It's easy to travel with. And you can pull it right out of your TV and bring it to another TV in your house if you want to, or to a hotel room. I bring it with me every time I travel. I actually bring my Fire TV stick every time I travel. I can't imagine traveling without it. There's so much on here, so much you can do with it. It really is a pretty fantastic unit, but it definitely is a simple and easy thing to set up. I really like it, especially if you have Prime TV. So if you have Amazon Prime, it just really enhances your whole experience with your TV. Now, if you haven't watched my other videos or this is the first video you've ever seen of mine, make sure you check those out because I show you how to really take full advantage of your Amazon Fire Stick. I've got all kinds of videos. Just click our name right down below and then click videos. You'll be able to see all my videos. I'm updating them on a regular basis and I delete outdated ones. So if you're looking for an older video of mine, I apologize, things might have changed. I'm probably gonna be updating that video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was just a very quick one. I wanted to announce the brand new Amazon Fire TV stick. It's really a nice option for those that don't have a 4K TV. Personally, I have 4K TVs in a couple of my main rooms and I wish that the stick was 4K capable, but I understand that they're trying to cater to those that don't have that, but still want that processing speed that the 4K TV had. Thanks again for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking that little subscribe button right down below and click that bell notifications if you'd like notifications on future videos that we'll be doing. Thanks again for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.